All right, let's God. get to it. Typo just said I'm not old enough for water. We have Artemis versus SS Luck. Guys, we're going to get it to this one. You're seeing Luck known for that signature DK. D D D DK, yeah, uh, that that guy has big, big hairy arms. Yep. Gra grabs you cargo throws you. That did it. Come. All but right, so Luck really hates this matchup. Uh, a lot of people have a strong dislike for Game of Watch. Well, especially after Paragon. I, it was before then. If you would check like Smash boards and Reddit and stuff like that, people would just be like, Game of Watch is dumb. .txt, and like that was most of the comments. Hey, water, including uh, Mr. L. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even Mr. L was like, oh, this character's dumb. Um, I am not going to state my stance on it, although I think people are over complaining. I think the character is mostly fine. Um, I, I think the character, from a balanced perspective as to where how he, how good he is, I think he's fine. It's just like uh, some design aspects, like like there are some basic Smash rules that like you know he quote unquote breaks like like you know jumping out of up B and like down B after after like holding down on stage, you know bucket breaking stuff like that. Like yeah. he he technically like breaks the flow of the game. And while you could argue that, I don't think you could necessarily argue that the character is too good. Yeah. Uh, you could say that he's got some poor design aspects, which I mean you know, I that, that that's that's like that's completely arguable. The um, the thing that I don't like is that people are just like oh game watch is busted. Yeah. <laughs> like Oof, Soul Fist yeah. to finish off the stock though. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, unique things about some of these characters. For instance, uh, Diddy Kong has this feel out here that he can chuck out there and trip people with, potentially setting up for combo opportunities, and even finishers. Uh, I took a chemistry test today. I swear to God, I know what the atomic number for potassium is. I know the symbol's K. I, I always forget. I think 12 is like sodium. Something like that. 11 is like beryllium. These might be completely wrong, by the way. I thought it was 16 for K. I could be wrong. But it could be, be six. It's, it's like somewhere around like the like the tens. Nineteen. Okay. 19. Yeah. All right. Typo. All right. So I wonder how old Luck is. Oh, he's twenty-two. Okay. Well, if he was nineteen, then I'd make uh, jokes about that. But we can't remember to be old man in this community. God. How old are you? Twenty-six in November. Don't worry. Uh, Infinity's like thirty-one or something. <laughs> I'm not joking. I think I think he's either thirty or thirty-one. Like I think he turned thirty-one recently, and uh, Umbreon's twenty-nine. <laughs> 40 typo. <laughs> 40. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, he just peels him from like that high up. That was hilarious. Oh he my. chucked Wait, the peel he, he just, from ab he, above the platform and then just dropped Wait, down. He's like, why oh, did he, he just hit. He, he paused the game and he's explaining what happened. Oh, he's just running back. Oh. Uh, I think. All right, so that was game one. Uh, okay. I. I accept this. That's eh, okay. Let's run it back to the best stage of the game. This is good. <laughs> the best stage in the game. This is the best stage of the game. Um. Okay. I was actually I was thinking of what to say. I, I was thinking I was I was thinking of what to say, and then after a while I didn't have anything to say, but I thought I'd see how long I could go on with it before <laughs> Typo told me to stop. <laughs> so so after a while I was just I was just going um and like waiting for Typo to stop, and he's like, dude, dude, come on. So. There we go. That's one of the best. I, I love that move when it comes to Game & Watch. That forward tilt with the chair that comes out and just Yeah, his, his forward tilt's actually really, it has literally zero frames of end lag. You can forward tilt and then buffer shield and first frame shield comes you out. You go lots of shield? That's so cool. It's so dumb, but <laughs> oh, his, so it, the, his flub hit also has a higher angle. The regular hit is uh, is 45, well, Sakurai, uh, but 45 to people who don't know that. And then the lingering hit is 65, so it's like, congratulations. This is lingering at JK combos. <laughs> I, I, Game & Watch? I, uh, I this character's great. Let's just throw zero end lag on this move and see what happens. The, the, the Chris Hansen. <laughs> Ooh, there you go, Nair. How's, how's looking to finish this? Um, he's going to scream a lot. That's what the monkey does. That, that's I'm actually true. really good at making monkey screaming noises, but I can't do it on commentary. Please don't. <laughs> oh God. I, like, if you meet me in person, ask me to do monkey noises. <laughs> that's that's like that's like a personal request. If you meet me in person, I'll do monkey noises for you. <laughs> I, I did it in the car one time with Strong Bad and Umbreon, and they all just started busting out laughing. And, like they were like, "Is, is are you actually a monkey?" And I was like, ah! "Yeah." Oh There's my the God! The down tilt. Crouch cancel the jab. That's ridiculous active hitbox. It's so far in front of him. What are we talking about? That down tilt from the game to watch? Uh, yeah, it's really ambiguous because the uh, the graphical effect stays out after the hitbox goes away, so it's, it's like hard to time. Ah, that actually that makes Wow, fun. Luck God. just piled on 65 damage off of just like touching him. Oh. Ugh. It's still going. Oh, he guessed that he'd be standing up by then. Ooh. 
Oh, oh wow, man. those clank, 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 death. Yeah, that was pretty weird. Luck doing his best to see if he can hold center stage. Set up for a hit. He has him at well into the kill percentages. He's not gonna take much. Oh my gosh. I I yeah. Oh, he, I think is. he could have bucket broke that if he uh, if he had like stayed on the ground. Wow. Uh, I. Why did that happen? Uh, I'd have to look at it again. I I don't remember off the top of my head. I don't know something. Weird forward air. Both these guys looking for that next hit. Uh, oh, I think so, I think something Artemis needs to do is whenever I'm playing versus Luck, I've got like. Luck's game with the banana is so good to the point where he's probably just going to do like 80% or just kill you every time he hits you with the banana because he like tech chases him to death. And, uh, oh, oh baby! Uh, after that point, you're probably just going to want to take the banana and throw it off stage every single time he pulls it. Like, most people grab the banana and they throw it back at him. Luck just like shields it or like wave dashes out a shield, just grabs it, and then you're you're honestly screwed. The best chance you have is throwing it off stage. So, any like, I, instead of actually going for that tech chase situation, I actually like... Well, maybe not with game watch because game watch is too slow. But if I were or playing a faster character, I actually would have just ran to the side, grabbed the banana, and threw it off stage. Like just, just kill the banana. But oh, I guess I could see that. It, it's gotten to the point where Lux item game is so good with the banana, you don't want to challenge it. Just get rid of it. And now uh, Diddy Kong without a banana is like a mid-tier character. He's not that great because banana is like where he gets all his follow-ups. Yeah. He throws you in a bad position with throw, and then he throws banana. So what you want to do is you want to grab the banana and throw it off stage, so that way he's forced to uh, run away and throw another banana. Because if he if he pulls another banana, you you can punch the end leg on it. But yes. if you like keep throwing the banana back at him and he like, just keeps grabbing it, uh, he's he's just like he's just like oh thanks man, I was gonna pick that up later. Oh. Yeah.